So Ricky, what are your thoughts after that game? Must be difficult on the motions after taking the lead and conceding that, that goal late on. What are your thoughts on the 90 minutes? Uh, difficult on the motions, is that, is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, well, I probably sums it up quite well, but I'm not too disappointed. I'm not, I've, I've, I'd have loved the guys to get in there and the chat to be, listen lads, we weren't brilliant, we've played better. But you won the three points, but that wasn't the chat, and that's kind of what happens. I thought thought they got a wee bit lucky with their goal. He's miskicked the the cross, um, and it's just landed to them. I didn't feel under pressure at all in the game. Only really the last 15 minutes when we were one nothing up, I felt they started to get a bit of momentum. We started to drop off, etc. But that's to be expected. I thought we defended well throughout the game, and I think Ross McNeil has a header. I think it wasn't an easy header. But I've seen him score them. I've seen Jack, well, the corner kick, Jack McDowell's four, four yards out, he headers it right into the goalkeeper. You know, sometimes the, the, it doesn't go your way with that. Um, and saying all that, if we'd won the game, I, I, I couldn't say for... I would be lying if I said, you know, we, we were a better side right the way through the, the, the game and we deserved to win the game. Uh, I thought probably a draw is a fair result, if you look at it from a neutral perspective. From my perspective, I think we had chances to win it more than they did, uh, although they did, we rode the, the, the luck a wee bit when it hit the bar. Um, so I think draw is fair enough. Again, I think it's been a battling performance for the guys. I feel like at Hearts, I thought we battled so well, we worked really, really hard. You know, we played a kind of stubborn shape and the boys have been working hard at it. We, we don't look like we're conceding a lot of goals, which is a positive. Um, we've just got to start to just um, unlock the doors a little bit in the, in the final third and, and that will happen. So looking at that, obviously, as you say, it was, it was a relatively even game throughout it and we had our chances to possibly put it to bed with the second goal and then unfortunately conceding there. What, what would the learning curve be? Obviously it's a young team and what, what do you think they'll take from that experience? Um, the learning curve is just to keep playing games. The learning curve is, is, is losing a goal. It, you're winning a game and you lose a goal and that's how you react to that and you can't be too despondent. You've got to say, right, OK, let's go into Tuesday now, let's be positive. Um, the learning curve is, you know, you don't always get what you deserve and sometimes football gives you something that you don't deserve and sometimes it gives you nothing that you deserve. So that's the learning curve. It's the, the life of playing football at some sort of decent level where you've got to go up and ups and downs. But what we do have, we're starting to get a bit of consistency in certain areas of the park, which I'm liking to see. Uh, and that will just we'll keep bedding that in and we'll keep getting better. There's, there's, no, there's no question about that. And it was another performance where we, we did dig in and we thought, and you know, there was close areas in the games where you know those key key moments can change it. What what were the qualities you, you did like from the team that you well, saw? Exactly, today? just say that Cal, you, you, you've uh, dug in. You, you've, you've got to dig in. You don't win anything. You don't dig in. And I felt at the start of the season when they're doing that, we dug in against Berwick, no doubt about it. And in the next two games we didn't. I thought we were passive. No, been passive recently. Certainly not for the last what, three games, something like that. Um, civil service, etc. cetera. So Cuthbert's obviously, we, we won pretty comfortably. At civil, I thought we dug in. I thought we were good. Played really, really well that day. Um, uh, Hearts, you know, I thought we dug in. Worked hard. You know, we're, we're, we're tenacious in our, in our, in our defensive moments. Uh, and today as well. And that, that gives you the foundation to get the performance. And then the performance hopefully uh, gets you the three points. It wasn't today but we need to move into Tuesday in, in a positive mindset. And then obviously everyone in the squad's wanting to play. We're getting players back from injury and the, the bench is looking really strong. And today yeah. you, you turned to the bench and I thought Josh came on and he was winning fouls, did yeah. his job well and Ross yeah. got the goal. Yeah. How crucial was having the whole squad available? And well, I've went for a bigger squad this year because uh, I have to admit to, to say that, you know, like summer was quite a real transitional period and I had to bring in boys that I, I thought, do you know what, they can do a job for us. It might not be right now, it might be in six months, it might be in three months, and that's what I've had to do. And some boys were you know, disappointed not to even be in the squad, and that's the, that's where we're at at the moment. So I want them, you know, and I've told them, if you're in the squad, I believe in you, regardless if you're sitting in the stand, don't be despondent, react to it positively, and you know, next time you get that opportunity, whether it's five minutes or 50 minutes, go and take it and go and do your absolute best to, to remain in the team. And then looking ahead to Tuesday night, we'll be up against Gretna, which obviously no disrespect to opposition at all. They picked up an impressive result recently, but looks like a game we could go back to Alliance Park and hopefully get three points. It feels like we've deserved in recent weeks. Uh, the boys have got you know, quality that they can go and beat. I think pretty much anybody in the league because it's a tight league I look at right right the way the top right to, to the bottom I think you can get surprises in there definitely 
I believe the boys have got enough to go and beat anybody. Great, that's just another game for, for, for us where we just prepare. Whatever the, whatever the results have been, it's, it's irrelevant to us. It's about, right, I get your point, but it's about us going and, and, and being better at what we're doing at the moment and being a bit more uh, creative, being a bit more uh, ambitious um, and, and you know getting goals and just performing. Just It's, it's about performances, getting them better to get a foothold in games, to go and win the game eventually and it's no any different to uh, for, for Tuesday and then that becomes a little bit more about shape as well, Can we, we might need to tweak our shape etc to be a wee bit more expansive, to be a wee bit more um, ambitious like I said so uh, and then it's up to the players to go and perform. Have as well, thank you for your time. Cheers guys. Cheers.